You can't really hold somebody to account for a facial expression. In the Quran you can. In the Quran you can. Just the face you make, man. Your dad's talking to you, your mom's talking to you, you're rolling your eyes like La tu sa'ir khaddak. Don't be making that face. Don't be making that face. It's going on record. But I didn't say anything. Yeah, you didn't say anything. You said a lot with that face of yours. Now, inshallah, we are going to talk about the problem of arrogance and how this wise man actually first talked about confidence in one's faith through the previous ayah. And now, not letting that confidence go too far, he's going to talk about arrogance. And he says, وَلَا تُصَعِرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ uh, Tasair, Sa'ara in Arabic, they say Amala min al, uh, amana min al, Amala min al Kibar. That's the Arabic definition. And what that means is when you make a facial expression and you turn your face away from someone because you think they're less than you, like. Don't, this is actually about facial expressions. Like instead of saying, don't be arrogant towards people, don't let your face, don't let your facial expressions offend people. Don't turn away, turn, turn your cheek, literally turning the cheek, is actually just kind of a making a face like, <laughs> one of those, one of those unspoken gestures that can be so mean and so condescending towards someone. You can actually really humiliate someone with the way you look at them. You can do that. There's a bunch of those. You guys are much better at them than I am. Okay? But you know those, those facial expressions, we, we use them of course because we uh, can get away with them. Uh, siblings use them against each other all the time in the back of the car. Mom, she's looking at me. He's doing that face thing again. <laughs> Don't do the face thing. And then the crime, the criminal, what, what, I, what face thing? Face, it's, it's my face. <laughs> what do you want me to take my face off? <laughs> right? But the idea here, it was very powerful. Allah said, if there's the smallest deed that won't go noticed, Allah will bring it forth. And the, a facial expression is one of those things, isn't it? You can't really hold somebody to account for a facial expression. In the Quran you can. In the Quran you can. Just the face you make, man. Your dad's talking to you, your mom's talking to you, you're rolling your eyes like La tu sa'ir khaddak. Don't be making that face. Don't be making that face. It's going on record. But I didn't say anything. Yeah, you didn't say anything. You said a lot with that face of yours, okay? You roll your eyes so hard they fall off your eyeball, eyelids over here, you know? Don't do it. This is an expression of arrogance. So he tells his son, don't look down on people. But what I really like about this ayah, what I really appreciate, is that Allah first mentioned confidence, then He mentioned humility. He didn't start with humility and then talk about confidence. He start for, first talked about confidence, then he talked about humility. You become humble to Allah first, establish Salah. Then it gives you confidence to speak up for the right thing. But just because you're speaking up for the right thing doesn't mean you're better than people. So don't think of them as less than you. Even if you're giving people advice, they're equal to you. What is the word where you're telling people the truth, but you think of them as an equal? Like you're ready to give them advice and take advice from them. What was that word? Thank you. So you never ever think of yourself as above someone giving them advice and they need to listen to you. Or you know more than them, or you're better than them. No. That should not be the case. So here, the, the, the beautiful wording, وَلَا تُسَعِرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ Then, وَلَا تَمْشِي فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا And don't walk around on the earth full of marah. Marah, they say shiddatul farah, when you walk around with a kind of pride where you really accomplish something amazing. 
Okay, yeah. So first Allah is talking about arrogance that comes out in your face. Then He's talking about arrogance in the way you walk, in the way you carry yourself, your body language. وَلَا تَمْشِي فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا In another place in the Quran, in Surah Al-Isra, He says, وَلَا تَمْشِي فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحًا إِنَّكَ لَن تَخْلِقَ الْأَرْضِ وَلَن تَبْلُغَ الْجِبَالَ الطُولَ Which is a really cool way of saying, know your role. It's a really amazing way of Allah just putting you in your place. Calm down, calm down, boy. Like literally. He says, don't walk on the earth with that much pride. You're not going to cause no cracks on the earth. You're walking around stomping like... The earth ain't cracking. And you're not crossing any mountains with those leaps. You think you're so high? You ain't higher than any mountain. Know your place. You're nothing. You know? So Allah, Allah does that sometimes when He, when he uh, uh, talks to people that are full of themselves. So now, the, the way you, the, your facial expression, and then after that, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself. 